Hello, everyone. So we've had lots of questions about how to actually request a book for the book bus and what the book bus might actually be. So I imagined I might have some of these conversations if I was actually at school right now. So my friend is going to help me have a conversation that's going to help us go through a video and figure out how to record, how to request what it is we want from the bus. So my little friend might say, Mrs. Henry, what's a book bus? Well, I might say to my friend, a book bus is a bus that brings you books that you can borrow and read at home. You can request a book ahead of time and ask them to put it on the book bus for you to pick up. Or you can go to a book bus stop and ask the book bus librarian if what kind of books they might have on the bus that you can borrow and choose from those. It's a wonderful thing. Mrs. Henry, I don't understand. How do you get the books on the bus? Is it magic? Well, it's a little bit magic and a little bit preparation. If you want a specific book, to see if your school library has a specific book, you can go into the card catalog and look it up and put it on hold. Then you're gonna fill out a Google form that lets me know and the book bus librarians know that you would like to pick up a book in a certain way. So you're gonna tell us how you wanna pick up that book. Hmm, how do I find the card catalog or see if they have a book or an author I want? Well, I might say to my friend, I'm show you. We're going to go in through LCPS Go, kind of our start point for everything, and log in because that's where we're going to find what's called Follett Destiny. And that's our card catalog. They're going to have a list of all the books we have, and we can see if you can find a book there. If not, we can look for something else you might want to put on hold, and that will go in for the next book bus week. Remember, you can also just go to the book bus and pick out something that's on the bus. Holds are cleaned up after a week. So just keep asking and asking until it's back and it's your turn to pick it up. So we're going to go in. I'm going to show you how to actually look through Fall at Destiny and request a specific book. Before we get to LCPS Go, is this the book bus? Is that what I can expect to see when I go to look for my books? That looks a little silly to me. Perhaps it is not a bus with books standing on top of it. Maybe it's something more like this. There are your librarians and anywhere you see the bright yellow click here bus in all of our links, you will find the materials you need to request your books for the book bus. 144 is the Cardinal Ridge book bus. Look for it at a stop nearest to your house and we'll show you that information later in the video. Welcome to the book bus. Let us know if you requested your books in advance. It goes a little faster and all book returns should be put in the box at the back door of the bus. Cardboard box, drop them in. Please return old and new library books when you're finished with them. Okay. So you're gonna log into LCPS Go. Yours won't have as many tabs as mine. Find your library resources tab, click that, and you're going to go into Follett Destiny, the green tab. Again, ignore all my apps. Yours won't have as many. So Follett Destiny opens up all the libraries in the county. You want to choose Cardinal Ridge Elementary. Click on that. It's going to open you up. And for our younger Friends, once you get to this point, you can click log in, click the blue bar. This is why we used LCPS Go. It will automatically log you in. You will land on a screen that looks like this. For younger friends, go all the way to the left and hit Destiny Discover. It opens up a much more user friendly interface that gives you pictures of books as well as the option of searching for specific titles. So if I know the title of the book that I want, I can write Chester. It'll give me, you can see it gave me some suggestions, but it will also just search for me. I'm gonna look all the way down and I see lots of things that come up with Chester. If the book has a red ribbon on it that says out, it means that book is not available. 
So I don't want to try to put that book on hold. It's not available. But I see this looks interesting and it's got a green ribbon that says in. Click on the book you're interested in and it's going to open up and give you the option for a little bit more detail. Let's see if it really is something I think I'm interested in. I like horses. I like Sid Hoff, the author. So I'm going to put this on hold. Once you hit that, it notifies me that you have put something on hold. Let's say now I also want to pick out something about trains. You can put in a subject, search for that subject, and the same thing will happen. It will show you pictures of books. They'll tell you if the book is in or out. So you can scroll through and say, hmm, I think this book looks a little bit interesting. I'm going to see if I can get this one. Let's look at the details. I look at the description and I decide, well, maybe it's not the one I wanted. Just click out of that and keep looking. Maybe I'm going to scroll down and I decide, you know, I'm not sure I want to learn about a specific train, but, oh, this catches my eye. Something with the alphabet would be great. Maybe I'm a kindergartner or first grader and I'm building my phonics and, light and alphabet skills. So I'm going to put that book on hold as well. And again, when I'm done, I just click the X. You can try to look through collections, um, but if you know the subject matter or the author or the title of the book that you want, it's faster to just go ahead and put the title or the author in that top bar where we searched the first time. And that's going to show you everything that's available in the Cardinal Ridge Library. You want to make sure that it says Cardinal Ridge up there in the left corner. And that means you're looking at only books that are available in our library. We can't interlibrary loan this year, so we need to make sure. This is another way for our older students to go through. You just use this catalog bar here. You can do the same kind of searches. You can put the name of a book or an author uh, in that top bar. You want to make sure, again, we're logging in. Ignore that screen. You won't get that. You're going to log in, and you're going to land on this catalog bar. Again, our older students are used to seeing this interface. This might be better for them. You can type in the name of a book or an author, a subject, any of those keywords that are below it. Again, we're making sure we're in the Cardinal Ridge Elementary. So I'm going to put in Chester. And this just shows me the same books, but in a different format. And when I'm looking to see if something I want is in here, I can see all the titles on the left. And if I go all the way to the right, that one I see says zero of one available. If it says zero of something available, it means it is not currently in. You want to make sure that your selection says there is at least one available. So now I'm going to look up Nuffle Bunny. Oh, I get three returns. All of them say one of one available. I've looked over there to make sure. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to click on the title. Yep, I've made sure that's the one I want. There's a button then on the left that says hold. I'm going to hit hold and save. And now I can go back to the catalog and keep looking. This also lets the librarian know in a different part of the interface that you have put something on hold. Now I'm doing another subject. I put in rabbits. And I'm going to look through. Now this time I'm also going to show you how you can scroll through. If you get to the bottom and you don't see what you want, but there's a lot available. There are numbers and bars on the bottom. You can just keep scrolling down and you can keep going through until you find what you may be looking for. So again, the first way we showed you with Destiny Discover is a little bit more user friendly for maybe our K through one, K through two friends. This more text heavy part of the catalog search might be a little bit easier for our three through five friends. And fourth and fifth graders have used this interface before with us. I'm putting it on hold, I'm saving it, 
and I'm good to go. So I've gone all the way through now how to put a book on hold in Destiny. So we've put a few things on hold. We went through and showed you how to put two things on hold, how to avoid things that aren't currently available. And remember, you can have one graphic novel at a time, just one. You can request more than one, but we're going to fulfill whatever one comes up first is available. Um, if you put more than one book in a series on hold, same thing. We're going to put, we're going to give you the first one that's available. You may feel free to keep requesting them after the fact, but the same kind of rules apply so that we can make sure all our students have access to our super popular titles, but you can request new things every single week and that's fine. Uh, if you put more than five things on hold, I will give you the first five things that I can find. We're doing five checkouts at a time. Um, and then when the holds are cleared out after the end of that particular week, feel free to go back in and put them on hold again. That's fine too, sorry. Uh, because then we'll just keep fulfilling until they come back or fulfilling until you've got everything you need to do, okay? Does that make sense? Any other questions? Uh, yeah, they might ask, how do you get your books? Oh my goodness, that's a good question. How would you pick up these books once you've requested them? Well, there are multiple ways you can do that. You can go to the bus, the bus stops, and there are multiple bus stops listed on the Google Doc. You can choose a specific bus stop to meet on a Monday. Uh, every Monday that school is in session, the book bus will run. Uh, the other way you can do that is you can actually pick it up at the school in what we call the vestibule, the section between the two glass doors, ring the bell, tell the office staff that you're there to pick up library books, walk through the glass doors, masks on please, masks on and social distancing are in place at all our LCPS buildings. You can go in, your books are there on a cart, grab the book, drop a book in the cardboard box if you have something in return, and then you're on your way. Hands free, nobody has to come out of the office, you're good to go. So that's, those are the two, those are your two best ways of picking up a book there at school or choose your direct bus on a Google document. Uh, but Mrs. Henry, yes. What's a Google document? <gasps> oh my gosh. Did we not look at the Google document and how you let us know that you have put something on hold and how you want to pick it up? Oh my goodness. All right. We're going to do that next. Let's look at how you put the books on hold. Getting the books and requesting the books is a two-step process. The first step is the destiny holds we just did. The second step is the Google document that lets us know how you want to pick those books up. Let's show that. Let's show you that now. So we've put books on destiny, and now you need to tell us how you're going to pick those books up. We're going to start again in LCPS Go and go to Schoology. This is the first way that you can fill out the request form. Every grade level lands on this library landing page. Go to the big yellow bus that says click here for book requests. That bus will always be your book bus icon. You're going to click on that and it will open up the link to the actual Google slide. This Google slide has a lot of information. Up at the top are all the bus stops and the times, approximate times, the bus will be at that stop. Those are the stops you're going to choose from. At the bottom is a link for the request form itself. And there's a family library class we recommend you join in Schoology where all of these information, all these, this information will also be housed. The link is there. The link is also on the bus itself. Push on those, click on either of those links. It takes you to the actual Google document. Once you see that header, Ms. Lane and myself, you know you're in the right place. You're going to hit next. You need to fill out all the information on the front, your first and last name, your student number, and your teacher's last name. This helps me figure out if I need to contact you if I have questions about your request. On the back page, it's now it's going to give you your choices on how to pick up as we talked about earlier. You can either pick up at the school. Monday through Thursday, 8.30 to 2, again in the vestibule, you can choose the book bus, or if neither of those things work for you, email Ms. Lane, let us know you're going to email her to make other arrangements. I'm today going to choose a book bus stop. 
So I look at all the stops and I figure out which stop is closest to my house that I can get to with an adult or a much older sibling. I choose my bus stop. Please ignore the top part where it asks about specific books. For now, that's changing. There's another tutorial video in case you haven't put your books on hold and you forgot how. Then you're going to submit that form. It comes to me, and that's my trigger to go into the catalog system and look for your books and pull them. You can also find all this information on the Cardinal Ridge website. You can hit that blue button. There's an access issue. We're going to fix that. Or go up on the right hand corner. Oh, you can scroll through. I'm sorry. You can sc scroll through the slides on the website. Go up to the right hand corner, hit academics, find library. And that takes you directly to the e-library website that we set up last spring. That website is also kind of a one-stop shop for a lot of different information and a lot of read-alouds and listens. On that page is the library book bus day request information again. Red, yellow bus again indicates book bus. It has the bus stops and times again. Again, those are approximate. And you can get to the Google form through the link in the box, or you can use the QRE code. Both of those will take you to the Google form we just walked through, and that will let me know that you have something on hold. Please remember, you need to do both steps. You need to put the book on hold in Destiny and fill out the Google form. That lets me know not only where you want to pick up your books, but that you put a book on hold. If you have a Google form and no holds, I don't have anything to pull. If you have a hold but no Google form, I don't know where or how you want to pick up those materials. So those are your two major steps. Go through Follett Destiny, put the books on hold, and make sure you follow up with the Google document. Okay, so now we've completed all the steps. First, we found something to put on hold in Destiny. Then we filled out the Google document to let the librarians know where we would like to get the thing off the bus or that we're going to pick it up at school. And now you're going to wait and see which of your requests show up on the magical, mystical school bus on the next available Monday. Or if we couldn't find anything that we liked, we know we can still head over to the book bus and ask one of the book bus librarians to help us find something that we might like and just check it out right there at the bus. Sounds pretty good. She thinks that sounds pretty good, but oh, wait, she says we forgot one thing. What did we forget? Oh, she's being very shy now, but she forgot. What happens when you're done with your books? Are you going to keep the books forever? No, you're not going to keep the books forever. Just like when you check them out at school, you're going to return them when you're done. So the way that you do that is if you are going to a book bus, you can drop them in the back of the book bus. There will be a cardboard box on the back of the bus and you just put it in that box. If you're picking up books at school, there will be a cardboard box in the vestibule. Remember that's between the two glass doors and you can drop them in that cardboard box when you're picking up your books or if you just have books to drop off, that's Monday through Thursday, 8.30 to two. You can do that at the school. So. Cardboard box in the back of the bus or cardboard box in the vestibule. Does that sound pretty good? She thinks that sounds pretty good. So she, oh wait, she's, oh, she said she's excited to see some books by some of her favorite authors and hoping there's something fun for her on the book bus. Okay, everybody, we've been over how to put a book on hold, how to let me know where you're going to pick up that book. So patrons, please remember one person on the bus at a time. Your mask must remain over your mouth and nose at all times, and masks must be worn. While you're waiting your turn, practice social distancing between the groups. The books are labeled on the boxes. Don't touch the books. They'll help you pick them. Browse with your eyes, not your hands. When you find one you want, ask for help. And the book librarians, the book bus librarians, will help you pull what you want. Have your name, student number, and teacher's name ready to check out. Just makes things a little faster. There are some book, uh, in the, some book information in the windows. Feel free to look at those while you're waiting. And remember, book returns go in the back of the bus. Just be patient. We love to see you at the book stops, and we're hoping we see even more of you. Thank you so much.